Welcome back, everybody. Hope you continue to join us with this discussion, this Resident Evil talking through that we're doing today. Yes. And now we're finna focus, now that we talked about the video games a little bit, now we're finna talk about the movies. Hmm. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's the dread of yes. talking about yes. those things. All right. So anybody who's watched the movies know they de they deviate completely from yes. the the game franchise. Just completely. Mm -hmm. They just disregard all the history and whatever, and just go with their own thing. Nothing like the games. <sighs> yeah. So yes, let's start with the best one. The first one. Yes. Yeah. It was, yeah. Now, the first one. Now, see, I think, honestly, the same thing that I had a problem with with the games where it went to more action-oriented, mm -hmm. I think the same thing happened with the movies. I like that. Like, the first movie was actually a survival horror movie. Yep. It was a horror movie. Mm -hmm. And it actually wasn't too bad. You know, no. we had Alice mm -hmm. and th those ragtag team of mercenaries or... Umbrella Corporation drones. I thought know. of it like they were just like introducing a new storyline. I mean, right. here's, here's Alice and they're trying to get in the hive and it was below Raccoon City, back to Resident Evil 2. Right. And it, it, it was leading up to be this great thing. I love Resident Evil 1. Now, I, I, I'm not going to lie. I don't love it as much as you. No, I, I love it. But I actually like it. Mm -hmm. Like I know it deviated from the franchise and the video games. But I actually liked the first one the, mm -hmm. because the first one was a horror movie. Mm -hmm. You know, it had the liquors. Mm -hmm. It had um, had all the good zombies in there. You know, and it introduced everything, the T-Virus, everything that the franchise people who like us who love Resident Evil, it introduced a lot of things in there that we were familiar with. Mm -hmm. And I appreciated that. And Michelle Rodriguez. Yes. If you, if you ever watch this, Michelle Rodriguez. Yes, just saying. I think you're all right. <laughs> Same. You are so harsh. She ain't that good actor. She all right. I love Michelle Rodriguez. I, uh, in the fan series. Mm. Mm. Well, mm. Oh, you don't like the fan series? Another story. Another time. Mm. We'll get to it. Anyways, <laughs> let's just stay on topic here. But um, the first movie. Yeah. I think. Did we go see it together? As a matter of fact, I, I think, think we did. did. Yeah, I, I think, think we did. actually went and saw that. It was me, you, and I think it was. I said, it's two old guys trying to, trying yeah, to remember still, stuff. Yeah, Don't mind us. Yeah. I think, if I'm not mistaken, I think Antonio mm -hmm. went with us. And I think one more other person. Because I think we all just went and saw it together. It was coming out. We're like, guys, Resident Evil's coming out. Let's go see it. This is in North Carolina? Yeah, yeah. This is in North yeah. Carolina. Yeah. We went to Whiteville. Mm -hmm. No, no, no. As a matter of fact, we went to... No, I Shalom? I don't know if we went to Shalom or not. Because mm. Whiteville... I'm sorry, Whiteville. Your theater's horrible. It's, they don't, it's, it's not there anymore. Thank you. You made yes, you made the right decision. But um, there's so many. Not even. I'm about to say something nasty. Yeah, yeah, man. <laughs> but I think we all went to see that together, and I actually really enjoyed that one. Even though mm -hmm. you seen it in the theater, I really enjoyed the first one. Now the second one, I can't remember the the subtitle. I know it's Resident Evil, but I can't remember was it. That's I think that's the one that they they brought Nemesis. In yeah, that's the one they brought Nemesis in jail. Yeah. yeah. They brought Nemesis in, which I think the makeup on Nemesis was really good. Yes, yes, it was. I mean, that was amazing. Like, they did Nemesis justice in that movie. Mm -hmm. At least I thought they did. Mm -hmm. Now, everything else in that movie, it was, it was just all right. <laughs> it was all right. <laughs> they brought in Mike Epps. I'll, 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 I'll... <laughs> so I'm not a fan of him at all. Like, he, you don't like Mike Epps? No. I don't. <laughs> everything in, just, he just makes the movie worse. Mm. I'm sorry. He's become he like he was Kevin Hart before Kevin Hart was Kevin Hart. That's yeah. for me. I got my two go guns now. Right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's, yeah. Uh, yeah it's, uh, no, <laughs> no. I, I don't like him. But I do like the best part about that movie was the opening where they're in Raccoon City. Yes. Mm -hmm. fighting the way out. Oh yeah. Now that was the best part of that movie. Period. Like, like I'm okay. Period. I'm seeing this. I'm like, oh crap, we get all right there. This is going mm -hmm. like Resident Evil. This is going to yep. be all right. They showed Jill getting ready, clock, glocking the gun. She came in the police station, just bop, bop. All right, this is just, it might be a good movie. Yeah. Mm -hmm. No, yeah. it didn't It didn't end up like that. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Uh, 
Sorry. Yeah. <laughs> I swear. Sorry, YouTube world. Yeah, sorry. There'll be a it's, whole lot of sighs in this video. Yeah, yeah. Oh, it'll be a lot more when we get to the later ones. <sighs> yeah. Well, at least the second one, I can say it still stuck. Like It, it was a little more action-oriented, but mm -hmm. it still stuck to kind of the Resident Evil roots. Mm -hmm. I, I can appreciate that. I don't like it as much as the first one, but I can tolerate it. Oh, yeah. I, can I can watch it, you know, which I'm not going to lie. I'll be completely honest here, YouTube world. I'll be honest. Those are my guilty pleasure movies. I know they're horrible. I know they're abominations. But I still watch them. Mm -hmm. Like if it's on, I'll leave the channel there. Yep. I don't even know why. Like I don't. I mean, they're they're horrible movies, but I still watch them. It's weird. Mm. It's like a, it's like I'm in an abusive relationship, and I don't know. What I mean. <laughs> That's what it feels like when I watch Resident Evil. Like I know it's horrible. I know it's bad for me. Right. But I still want to watch it. Right. Well, no, I gotta wash dishes and take the trash out. Let me throw in Resident Evil. So right. Let this <laughs> Sitting there washing dishes, uh, Resident Evil. Mm. All right, mm. I got all this music, uh, all this stuff off the dishes. All right, I'm putting that up. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, so the second one wasn't too bad, you know. I like how they show the daughter who was the, um, who what was the what was the computer program from the first one? Mm. Um, the give me a sec, give me a sec, give me a sec. I can't remember her name. YouTube world, of course, yeah, help us out. Yeah. Help us two, two older gentlemen, help us out. If you, if this, put the name in the comment section of what that, that program was in the first one, because I, I forgot what it was. I remember in a minute, because that's He you will, he probably will. You're going to die down here. <laughs> yes. Mm. You're all going to die out here. Yeah. Mm. <laughs> but um, the second one's not too bad. Mm -hmm. well, I, can, I can tolerate that one. Now, yeah, the, the third one. The third one. I don't even know what that was. That was just. That like, one was extinction. No, no, it was. Resident Evil Extinction. No, no, I think the second one was Extinction. That was the one that had a... Uh, no, 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 that, the first, third one was Extinction. They had Mike Epps and uh, um, Ashanti. Oh, I, I hate that. Ooh, 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 ooh. Bus. It was like a Mad Max kind of Resident Evil. Kind yeah. Of, uh, what the fuck is this? This yeah. ridiculousness. It was. Like, I don't even understand what they were trying to do. Like, and that's the one thing. Like, that's honestly, guys. Like, you help me almost understand. slammed the cup. I almost did. I really almost <laughs> did. Like, one thing I don't understand about the Resident Evil movies and game franchise kind of both. I'm like, okay, guys, you ended the world. Mm -hmm. Why are you still being evil? Like, why are you still an evil corporation? You, you have, what else do you have to prove? Mm -hmm. Like, what else can you do? I mean, you're e I mean, we understand you're an evil corporation, but you just annihilated the human population. Right. Why are you still evil? Why are you still trying to kill people? Mm -hmm. Like, Eventually, you're gonna, it's like the vampires. Yeah. Like eventually, vampires are gonna kill enough people, to, like daybreakers. That's a good example. Yes, good point. Yeah, it's like okay, you almost killed off your whole population. At least the vampires took steps to mm -hmm. preserve their blood. These guys in Resident Evil are still just trying to be douches and like still eliminate and still continue um, researching T virus and stuff. Like guys, why do you? Everybody's just, dead. Yes. What's like, the point? Come on, like, dude, what? Seriously, mm -hmm. I'm sorry I'm going off and doing this, but no. it's, it makes no sense. Like that's stupid. Mm -hmm. Like I, if I'm an evil villain, I at least want to keep the roar, the world intact, so I can continue to be evil. Maybe do a little good here and there, just so I can continue to be evil. Mike, I don't want to be evil all the time and kill everybody, and it's just I have nothing to be evil about anymore. It's stupid. If you were a villain, you'd be Magneto. I, I, can I would be. I, can I would be. Yeah. But yes, all subject. Yeah. Yeah. Sorry. It's just. Uh, yeah, that's yeah. the one thing that made no sense in that game series and and movie franchise. Like, stop being evil. You just kill the world. Come on, man. Yeah. Be good sometimes. But I, I, <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> you're fine. You're fine. Like, yeah. The third one was just. It just sucked me. Yeah. I, I hated it. I hated every bit of it. I I, I love the fact when Ashanti died. Oh, I, I hate that woman. Yeah. Like, I don't hate, I don't, I try not to use hate when concerning people, because it's a strong word. Yes. I hate that woman. And I know this is going off subject. I'm going to give you a little history as to why I hate Ashanti. There was an episode of Punk. Uh, we may not. You, I remember that episode. Actually, yeah. Not, yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So what, what the episode was about, what, I'm sorry we're going off, but I want to give you background why I hate this woman. But um, in the episode... How they punked her was when they pretended their, that her limo broke down. And now they're informing her, excuse me, that she's going to have to ride the bus. And this snooty heifer 
I ain't finna ride no bus. I'm like, seriously? You mean to tell me because you're rich, you can't ride a bus? You're that snooty and snobby where someone like Keanu Reeves can ride a train all the time and be, be humble? Bitch, be humble. That's right. I'm going to say it. Bitch, be humble. That's that, you, y'all, y'all know the song. So let's not even pretend you don't. Bitch, be humble. But anyways, let's go back to Resident Evil. <laughs> let's go back to Resident Evil series. I'm sorry, that just made my night right there. Oh, yes. yeah. And I don't know if we don't call women that. I'm, she is one to me. I'm mm. sorry. It's just she is. Bitch, be humble. But um. Yes, anyways, the third one was just you can see the the the, the degre, 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 degradation degradation. Is yes. that what we're talking about? Mm-hmm. Where it just slowly mm-hmm. starts to decline and get worse and worse with each iteration. Mm-hmm. And that to me was where it started at. Yeah, here's the one that pissed me off. It was the one after that. Is that? I think that one is. They brought in Claire and Chris. I think that's Afterlife. Yes. And, yes. And my boy Wesker. Now, mm-hmm. and yo, hold on. I'm about to get on my high horse. He's going to get on his now. Yes. Now, when I tell you, freaking Chris Redfield, this burly guy we were talking about in the last video game, well, the, the last video that punched a boulder into in a lava pit is smaller than me in Resident Evil movie? Really? Really? I don't think he's smaller than you, though. Well, I'm, I'm just saying. He's close. Mm-hmm. He's close. He's close. Yeah, we all know the guy from Supernatural. Yes. Yeah. But anyway, mm-hmm. continue. He, continue. Was in continue prison. he was in the first season of Prison Break. Yes, he was. Yes. yes. Continue your uh, rant, please. No. Continue. Now, now, I love Claire. I love Claire. Final Destination. Yes, I remember you. Oh, that's right. She was mm-hmm. 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 I love Claire. But whenever you fuck up Wesker, and they did, they fucked up Wesker. He looked great as Wesker, but yes. whenever he brought them little things out, the Lost Plagas, no, don't do that to me. Don't do that to me. That's not Albert Wesker. No. Mm-mm. Like, even when I, I, the fight between him and, um, him, was it him and Claire? Mm-hmm. That was a pretty cool fight in that one. Yes. Where he was going to teleport, like, what he does. Mm-hmm. Like, the dude that played Wesker, I have to agree with you. Yes. He actually looks yes. just like Wesker in the game. So he mm-hmm. does a good job. And to me, Kylie even talks like him. Yep. Like, he does a good job as Wesker. But. but yeah. Yeah. Yep. It just f***ed it up. Yeah, just. It did. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So it really pissed me off. And then it, it ended like it was just going to be the best thing in the world. Alice got her powers back or whatever. And Is that the one? Mm-hmm. That's the, that's the way the movie ended. Is that the no, one wait, on wait. the boat? Mm-hmm. That's the one on the boat. Oh, okay. Yes. Because, man, these, I'm sorry. These movies run together. These, yeah, they they're, they're horrible and they, they run do. together. Wait, there was one in the middle of that because there was one was after that. No, I thought the one on the boat was the one after the third one. Mm-hmm. It is. Okay. There's one after that. Now, then she got a power. Now that back. one is retribution. Yes. Now that's retribution. That's the one where she got her powers back. Yeah. Because mm-hmm. at the end where it shows them in the White House and they're all yes. the creatures mm-hmm. flying around. Yeah. Blah, the blah, end blah, of blah. that. Well, I was like, oh, all right, shit's about to get real. What we get? We got a whole other zombie apocalypse thing going on. Everybody's gonna be fighting, you know. Right. Together and against all these daggone zombies. And then the next movie came out and just like, what the fuck happened? Yeah. That. That. I'm sorry. The, that's the, that the last, last one. Yes. Yes. The, yes. That was. I don't even know. Like, I want to know who green, greenlit that. I want to know. I, I have in, no idea. In the boardroom, I want to know who made a conscious decision after hearing that story mm-hmm. to greenlight that movie. I want to find whoever made that movie and just grab them by their throat and just choke the shit out of them. Because that was just it was horrible. despicable. It, 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 like, you can tell that movie was just a, like that last one was just a, a complete and utter cash grab, mm-hmm. banking on the people who have stuck, which I don't understand how you can still stick with it, who have stuck with that franchise since the first one. And it just, it was just a cash grab. Mm-hmm. Like that movie was, like, it was like, man, I, I can't believe how bad that movie was. I hated the fact that I even watched it. Like, it was just like somebody just walked up, walked up to me in the bar and just slapped me in the face. That's how bad that movie was. Now, mm-hmm. what was your favorite, like, for you, what was your favorite moment in the? I know there, there may not be many. What was your favorite moment in the fa- in the franchise? In the Resident Evil franchise? Yeah, in the movies. I will say when they redid the the Wesker fight in Resident Evil Five, the game, mm. when 
he took he took the glasses off and threw it towards Chris and he caught it. Right. He did the exact same thing that he did in the game. Okay. I love that. I love that. Mine was when the credits rolled on every single movie. That's really my Thank favorite. Thank God I wasn't drinking that. Yeah, that's really my favorite part of the entire franchise. Every credit roll, all right, this is over with, I'm yep. done. Yeah, because that, I'm sorry, this franchise as a whole is garbage. Like, I, I mean, they ruined one of the greatest horror franchises. And what makes me mad, Shane, as you see, it's, do you do you see do you see all this? Is yeah, it, yeah, see, I'm sorry, yeah. You can tell when I get into it because I'm starting using hand <laughs> gestures after that. Yeah. But what made me mad with Resident Evil is that Silent Hill mm-hmm. did a better job of adapting their video game yes, they did. to a movie film a, a movie format than Resident Evil. Silent and, Hill one was just the best. Thing I, I thought it was man, I'm telling oh, you, man, God, Silent yeah. Hill the first one mm-hmm. was to me, really, really mm-hmm. good. Like it really had the creep factor that was mm-hmm. that are in the games, and they brought it really. They did a really good job of that. Oh yes. Excuse me. Don't get me wrong. I know they switched a lot of stuff. Yes. But they mm, movie. Yes. yes. They did that, but at least they kept the core elements of what yes, that franchise mm-hmm. was about in that movie, as far as the horror and the Silent Hill town as a whole. Mm-hmm. Gonna, I thought they did a good job on that movie. We're going to do one on that, too, later on. Yeah, we have to do a throwback review mm-hmm. of that one. Oh, yeah. Yes. Just, but they did a really good job on that. And it makes me mad that they didn't do the same thing yes. for Resident Evil. Mm-hmm. Wes Anderson. Um, Wes. It's, no, was it Wes Anderson? I know it's not the, the good Wes Anderson, but it's Wes something Anderson. I can't remember the, the middle initial. I can't remember. You're a hack. I'm sorry. You're a hack. You, you're not as bad as e Way Bowl. You're still a hack. You ruined a good franchise. And your director, your director career should be annihilated. Like, yes. No. This, ugh. Screw you. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, man. And I, I really wish someone would reboot that franchise. Someone with some knowledge of and history with that franchise and do it justice that oh, it yes. deserves. Like, oh, it, yeah. like that, you can do a good horror movie, but my, my, the only reason why I think they can now is because the zombie genre has been played out so much. It's going to be hard to do that mm-hmm. now. I would say the people that made uh, damn, Cabin in the Woods. Like, Ooh, they'd be a good one. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Or the people that made The Strangers. Well, I can see make that. a Resident Evil film. Yeah, I can see that. That it would be an amazing film. Or the um, I want to see the dude um, Fre- Frederick, whatever his name is, the guy who did the um, Evil Dead reboot. Oh, yeah. I would love to see him oh, reboot yeah, that Resident was Evil. Such now, a good that movie. That would be good. Mm-hmm. Or I mean, we throw one out there since we got a Xenomorph up here, Ridley Scott. No, 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 no. Fuck Ridley Scott. I'm sorry, guys. After he ruined the Alien franchise with with Alien Covenant. I like that movie. I really do. Don't look at me like that. Just, I really like that movie. YouTube world, look at that. Yes. <laughs> really, Scott doesn't need to do anything anymore. Damn. Like he's lost his, he's lost his edge and he's lost his, that, that thing that made him really Scott as a director, he's lost it. I don't want to see any more movies from him. Damn. After I saw Res- um, Alien Covenant, yeah. I was done with, with, with Ridley Scott. I was done. Mm. Yeah, no. But, hey, in the comic session, let us know who you would like mm-hmm. to reboot the Resident Evil franchise. What director would you pick to actually do a good job with this franchise based on their very good yes 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 see i can mm-hmm. i can do every now and again mm-hmm. <laughs> just let us know who you think would be a good director to reboot this franchise and get it back to where it deserves to be mm-hmm. but uh anyways i'm done talking about this piece of shit franchise i don't even want to spend too much time on it I'm just, i feel tainted just talking about it now i'm about to get shame 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 <laughs> <laughs> but uh we thank y'all for joining us. We're gonna end this. We're gonna end our Resident Evil discussion on this. But um, we thank you for joining us. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Um, join us next time when I don't even know what we're gonna talk about, but we're gonna be talking about. Oh something. yes. <laughs> the more you like and subscribe, the more videos we make. So yes. please. So please like and subscribe. Join us next time. I'm Carolina Hitman, and this is Strife. See you next time. Cracker Hunter signing out. <laughs>